Okay, limited today were Jair, Kenny Clark, Elton Jenkins, Josh Myers, Keyshawn Nixon, Jaden Reed, Quay Walker, Christian Watson, Devontae Wyatt, and Corey Ballantyne did not participate. Yes. Line backer depth than you've had in previous years to kind of handle that up in case you can't play. Yeah, probably. I think uh, when you just look at how, the, I mean, there's been no fall off. I feel like with just Eric Wilson's ability to go in there, um, and we we just feel really good about that room all overall. So all those guys are doing a great job. I think Half's done a great job with them and Campanelli and Sean Duggins in that room as well. So um, really confident with that room. Four guys there who have played a lot and done okay. Do you, um, a lot of times there's only like two of them on the field. Do you like it? Do you want to see a rotation of those guys or would you rather have the packages more set and, and guys getting used yeah, to Yeah, I think it's, I think that's a good thing when you can rotate guys and certainly we've shown that we're not afraid to do that and no matter what position, whether it's offensive line, DB, linebacker, receiver, tight end, it doesn't matter. So I think that's a that's a benefit to us that we're getting multiple people reps and they continue to get better and better. Blitzing team, but you guys have gotten blitzed a lot this year. Do you expect them to change? I, mean, I don't know. I think they do a really good job just uh, in terms of game to game, having a specific game plan. So I think you just got to be ready for it all and. Certainly, you have built-in answers within your scheme on, on how to handle certain situations, how to handle certain pressures. Um, so we'll, we'll be ready for it. Earlier in your um, time here, you faced the Eagles a couple times when Peterson was the head coach there. I'm just curious if there's anything about kind of a Doug Peterson coach team that that's stood out to you. Uh, no, just that I, I think they're well coached. Uh, I think he's always done a great job. I've got a lot of respect for Doug, um, not only as a football coach, but as a person. Um, so I think he's always done a great job. Special teams, and explosive returner, the punter's doing great. You've got the veteran kicker now. Have there other players on your wee fence that you think have excelled this season consistently on coverage teams? Yeah, I think we've had a lot of guys. I think Zane Anderson shows up all the time. Um, Bullard's definitely made some some high impact plays. Um, Cooper, there's there's a lot of guys. Eric Wilson, Isaiah. I mean, we've got a lot of guys that we feel confident in. What would it mean to get Devontae Wyatt back? I mean, he was so productive in those first few games for you. Yeah, he's he's really coming along nicely. Um, you know, he's had. Two good days of practice. We'll see where he's at by the end of the week, whether or not he's he's healthy enough to go. Uh, but yeah, I think when you look at the production that he's been able to provide for us, uh, that would be b big for our defense. You see kind of what you envisioned when you went to this defensive scheme that a guy like him in the middle would really thrive. Yeah, I think so. Just his ability. He's a quick twitch up, twitchy um, defensive lineman and a guy that can really explode off the football. So. That is, you know, a benefit of this style of system where you're trying to, we're more of a penetrating front as opposed to like a read and react um, playing technique. You just want to try to create chaos and carnage in front of you by blowing up the man in front of you. I know you brought up, you brought up to the guys looking at Jacksonville's schedule and how all the close games that they've lost, they could be five and two. But do you at the same time, ever bring up the NFC North and say, hey, guys, we can't afford to lose these type of games? No, we, we, don't, we don't talk like that. We just focus on the task in front of us, and every week's a great challenge, and you better bring your A game. And you do that by putting in the work throughout the course of the week. So you got really four days, four opportunities to get in quality of work um, on your opponent, and then... Um, to put it all out there for a three-hour window on Sunday. So you, it, it always, for us, it always starts with the preparation and taking it one day at a time and one really one moment at a time. Do you think you've kind of reached an acceptable level with um, the holding penalties and pre-snap with the offensive line? That was such a problem early on in the season. Well, what's acceptable? It's never acceptable. 
I, I mean, we there was a good example today. We had a false start and a two-minute drill. Like, you can't have those. Those are detrimental to your ability to move the football. So um, I would tell you this, that if guys are playing hard, like, there's some penalties that occur that are just – they happen in football. But the pre-snap penalties are – to me, a lack of focus and concentration. And I think those are the ones that you absolutely cannot have, as well as the, this, what I always deem the, those post-snap penalties, those are selfish, like we can't have those. So um, I would tell you that we're never accepting of any penalty, but also realizing that sometimes something, some things happen, especially if you're playing with great effort and physicality, um, you know, Sometimes the runners might bounce a ball outside and you get caught and you just got to learn to let go of a guy. But those are kind of just the price of doing business at times.